2009, we're having dinner in Miami, uh, my kids, my wife and I, and I tell them, oh, well, I have a new job offer. Oh, nice. And where? Well, Panama, Central America, so you guys are moving. So they were like shocked. So two months later, I go down to Panama. Uh, I start working with a television network, um, my past life uh, experience. And down the line, they come. Perfect. Two months, well, two years down the road, uh, my wife and I said, you know what? We have to make something uh, out of this. Uh, we love to give back to the community. Uh, and we try to figure out what are we going to do. We see a lot of uh, non for profits uh, foundations, and we don't find anything that it's appealing to us. So we come to, a, to the idea of creating something to give back. Very naive, but what we're going to do it. 2012, we, uh, uh, every year there's a photo walk that it's uh, done worldwide by Scott Kelby, uh, professionals, uh, 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 hobbyists, everybody that has a camera wants to do something and shoots for one day around the world, they shoot the city, and you put those pictures up on the web and you, get, you win prizes for that. So we're sitting down with all the people uh, that participated in that uh, specific uh, shoot, and we're having a beer. And I tell, well, what are we gonna do with all this material that we uh, created? And I said, well, why don't we create a foundation? Uh, we utilize the images that we uh, uh, acquired and try to sell them or do something and give back to the community. I said, okay, perfect, let's do it. How will we do it? Well, let's hire a lawyer, <laughs> um, start the foundation. Uh, but, well, difficult in Panama being a bunch of foreigners trying to come up with a foundation because in those countries you hide assets uh, in their tax havens and it took us hell to create a, a foundation. It took us after a year, year and a half that we went through every single uh, process and scrutiny from the lawyers, from the banks uh, to create the foundation. We were able to do it. So what are we doing different? Uh, we're making we're giving back sexy. So we provide images, very interesting images of different things, and we do a silent auction. Silent auction that with our clientele from the photography business or from the wedding businesses from different uh, um, of the photographers, they, uh, we have great benefactors, they give us the money, and we didn't have the project to attach it to so I tell the board members, okay, next time you come to the board meeting, you have to come up with two solutions or two projects that you are passionate about and you want to do it. So we come up with a drink cleaning water program. What's this? 11 million people in Latin America die from problems related to water uh, pollution. It's a lot of people. 300,000 Panamanians households don't have uh, potable water. The country has a lot of water, but it's not clean water to, to, to consume. So we are ready to, for a journey in Darien. Darien, it's a, prov it's a province and it's border with Colombia. It's Colombia and Panama where we are. Uh, there's no roads, there's no connection from Colombia to Panama. Um, a lot of the drug lords run their drug business through there and a lot of the guerrillas from the, the FARC. So we adventure ourselves into the, uh, into the river after driving seven hours down south uh, in pickups from Panama City. And uh, at the last checkpoint, they, they don't have military, but they have like um, type of police, military police. At the last checkpoint, uh, they tell us, well, where are you going? Well, we're going to this little town called Nuevo Vigia, that is the most developed community that you guys are going to see uh, in the area. 
And, uh, and they said, well, are you guys coming back? I said, well, if I'm not back in an hour, please go get me because it's not nice to be there. So everything happens in the river. They wash their clothes. Um, they navigate through the river. Um, they, uh, all the animals take water from there. Uh, they utilize the, the water to cook. Uh, so they have a big problem. They, they, and they have the resource, but we don't have electricity. They, they, they live uh, with nothing. So we partner up with a big corporation, a U.S. corporation that has business interests. About, they run a, a Latin operation in, in, in Panama and with another uh, non-for-profit. The other non-for-profit knows the dialect from the country. They are the right skin color to uh, work with the, the local people um, and with uh, this uh, company. So they produce a little pouch that has a little powder and it's a potable, uh, like, a pow like a water plant, but just in a little a, a pouch. So you pour the little packet into the water, the, the, the completely uh, uh, dirty water, and you tell them to stir the water for five minutes. So they don't have watches. What do you do? Well, two songs, it's five minutes, so you just uh, uh, do it, and that's the time that you have to do it. So all the gunk goes down to the bottom, and then you put it through a cloth. So you can just leave all the impurities there. And you let it sit for five minutes. You see all the ugliness that has the, the, or the pollution that has the water there. And you just let it sit for five minutes and you have drink clean water to consume. And um, they have a better um, quality of life. And we have a saying in the foundation that we have, these are the board members that we went down to take pictures, me included. With this initiative, we help 127,000 people now in Panama year round. So we started in 2013 and we're trying to expand the, the help. So here it's, I'm going to translate it, it's agua igual la vida, that it's uh, water equals life. So I want to make a challenge to all, all of you guys and all of you guys in the internet, or if you're going to see it uh, on demand. I challenge you to think out of the box and think what can you do for the people next to you, your neighbor, and how can you make someone's life better. Thank you very much.